hoping to do something really cool. So SiteScope requires Java to work. And unfortunately, the Java is no longer supported on most browsers. And I guess the last one that really does it properly is Internet Explorer, which still kind of lags behind on some configurations. And therefore, the nice R&D team created a local client that uh, can work with the uh, site scope directly and remove all of this weird hustle that you need to do with Java configurations in your browser. So we're going to do that. Now, there are a couple of things to know. First of all, uh, you do need the Java installed on your computer, I think. But also, there is the whole thing with the security. And yeah, so there are many ways to deal with uh, the need to uh, Im import certificates from your secured site into the Java application. And it's, uh, it's a matter of... Uh, self-signed certificates, which is exactly what we have here. So first thing that we need to do is to import the certificate. So let's do just that. We go to the URL of our site scope. There we go. It will prompt us to accept the certificate in case it's uh, just the first time. We will see kind of a prompt that says we'll continue, but it, it, they say it puts your computer at risk. No, it doesn't. And then once you have it, you can go and actually you need to go and click on the certificate itself. I don't see it right now in this current browser for some reason. So I'm going to switch real fast over here to another pay to another browser just to get this certificate access to the certificate itself. I guess I could check the browser a little bit more, but yeah, that's good enough. So basically, you acknowledge the certificate, something similar happens in Internet Explorer. And you don't need to do use Internet Explorer to, to extract the certificate. It's just a little bit more convenient. You click on non-secure, and you click on certificate, which says invalid. It doesn't mean that it's really invalid. It means something else. OK. And uh, certification path, details, let's see. Oh. Okay, so let, let me show you what happened here, really. Uh, I already imported the certificate, so I no, gear, no longer get the option to import it. So I'll show you the document itself. Here's the document. What happens is once you click on continue to this website, not recommended, then you click on the certificate error. You click on view certificates. You click on install certificate. You choose it for the whole machine, not just for the user. And you get this nice weird prompt from Windows. It says, well, are you going to, you're going to do something admin related. So click on yes, you say yes. Place all certificates in the following store. You browse, you choose the trusted root certification authorities. And then you click next and finish and you get this nice confirmation the import was successful. So I already done this part. And therefore, I don't get the certificate notification in the Internet Explorer because, well, what's the point? Second part is to get the actual local client. And there I have it here in the uh, in my local clients folder. So I'm going to extract it to. OK, and I'm actually uh, documenting while I'm uh, testing it out. So just going to click away over here and I'm going to say, take this, take this and then extract two. Okay, an arrow and we're gonna say, right, uh, right click. Here we go, let's place it somewhere near here. There we go, we got a screenshot. In the meanwhile, let it extract, I'll place the screenshot. All right, and in a second or so, we'll get the bits extracted over here. There we go, and now inside the same folder, let me take a picture of it as well. We go inside and we do exactly the same thing. 
and but we're gonna say extract here okay so I'm going to take a picture I'm gonna put a rectangle over here seven zip and I'm going to say extract here fantastic okay pasting the screenshot to my document over here because remember guys I do those recordings while I work so my work is to document this kind of things and me talking to you guys while I'm at it it's just an added bonus so we go to dist actually no uh, we need to go to dist and I'm going to say click here all right and i'm going to open the uh, site scope client dot but all right let's double click it and there we have a little bit of a cmd window and it will take it a couple of seconds to load this is not a fast VM. We're conserving the resources over there. All right. So now we need to type our uh, site scope uh, URL over here. So it's going to be HTTPS colon slash slash site scope dot item dot com slash capital site. Okay. This needs to be accurate and you just hit enter. And if the certificate import worked, you'll see the login page. And in case it didn't, well, then you'll need to re-import your certificate to a proper folder. This is the most common mistake. All right, so there we have it. So let's log in and see what happens. Okay, let's take a picture of it like this. And then I'll take a picture of this as well. Okay, rectangle, there we go. And we hit that login button. And if everything worked correctly, we should see that the site scope works. So let's give it a second to load. As you see, there is this 100% in the right corner. It's still kind of counting. So I'm counting on it to load any second now. And if it didn't, I'll probably need to go back and retrace my step. This is more convenient, let's put it this way, on personal computers. So if you can connect your client from your own PC, that's going to be much faster and easier for you to do from your own computer. And it seems that I need to fix something on my computer, but basically the process doesn't change. It's just something that I need to do on my computer. Okay, and the problem was solved by going to internet options, trusted sites, and adding just a wildcard for the whole domain for the HTTPS. And it, mean, and it, it inherited the whole setting for Java clients as well. So I needed to stop and start my Java client after I added the ex security exception and there it works. Okay, it worked for a second, now it doesn't. 